No, little barrel. She loves her wounded. Yeah. Oh. I was like, this is kind of crazy, dude. You know, feeding a squirrel. Hello. That was really the first time I had an interaction with a wild animal. This is the mighty barrel. I just been feeding her every day. She'll eat off my shoulder. She was a very unique squirrel. She won the beauty pageant for squirrel. Very beautiful. She's like a bossy squirrel too. <laughs> oh! Sometimes she'll think my finger is a nut though. That shit hurts. But it's been really life changing. I met her when I started feeding the squirrels. I got my hamster like these almonds in the shell. So I had a bunch of extra almonds. And I just started putting them out. Oh no, it's not a good spot, little bear Larry. And I would see Barrel get nuts and then kind of scamper away from me. She's hiding the nuts. But once she figured out I was a source of them, she seriously would look at me every time I came outside. Hello. What's okay, little baby? I don't know if they're gonna bite or anything, but I was just like, I wonder if she'll like take a nut from my hand. From there, she just kind of got more and more um, friendly. Having a yummy peanut. She'll climb on my screen door, stare at me for nothing. And then she was just sitting there one day. And I just pet her. So I was just like, I wonder if she'll eat it off my lap. And then she just jumped up onto my lap and started eating it. She's not afraid of me at all. She's never ever bitten me out of aggression. She's very, very fluffy. And she's very cute. But it really depends on how many nuts I put out for her, because if she's really busy burying nuts, then she'll kind of run away. She's my petting still, I guess. And she's still around now. I see her every day. I do my best to take care of her, too. No. Oh. She's had they're like four or five generations of kids, but I don't know if I'll ever find another squirrel like her kind of.